Children, so next exercise, exercise E. Look at the animals and write the names. So here you can give, uh, see uh, the pictures of some animals. Can you see the pictures of some animals here? Images of some animals are given. See the animal picture, then you have to write the names one by one. Yes, so come into the first image. Yes, which is the animal you can he see here children? As animal in cold place, isn't it? What is the name of this animal? Yes, polar bear, isn't it? Yes, so the first one is polar bear. Yes, then what about the second image? Yes, second image, what, which animal you can see here? Yes, it's a bird. Yes, the bird that comes or travels at night, comes out at night most of the times. Not in the daytime, mostly travels or comes out at night. Yes, it's an owl. Yes, O-W-L, owl. Now, coming to the third image. Yes, which animal is here? The animals that help uh, people in many ways to carry their lots and things from one place to another. Yes, donkey. Yes, D-O-N-K-E-Y, donkey. Now, coming to the next image. Yes, what is that? Yes, it is a B. Yes, B. It produces some sound, isn't it? B. And gives us honey. Yes. Now, the next image, yes, if it sting you, it gets pain, we get pain, which is, what is that? Yes, it's an insect type, yes, it is a scorpion, S-C-O-R-P-I-O-N, scorpion, S-C-O-R-P-I-O-N. Now, coming to the next image. Yes, a wild animal. Yes. And you have already learned a story about this animal uh, and grapes when you are in, were in UKG and or LKG, UKG, isn't it? Yes. Which animal it is? Yes. Fox. Fox and grapes. That story you have already learned, isn't it? Yes. Then next, which is the image here? Can you name this animal? A climbing animal which climbs on trees and lives on trees. Yes, squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Squirrel. Next, yes, next animal. It's the fastest animal, you know, it runs so fast. Yes, it's cheetah. C H E E T A H. Cheetah. Next, yes, a beautiful bird we say, isn't it? Yes, which, what is the image you can see here? It's a different colorful butterflies we can see. It's a butterfly, yes. Butterfly, B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y, butterfly. The last image is of a, yes, it lives in water mostly. But we can see sometimes it on land also. Yes, it's a tortoise. T-O-R-T-O-I-S-E. Tortoise. Yes, you have already learned a story about tortoise and rabbit. Isn't it? Yes. Tortoise. So, these are the names of the animals that are given here as pictures. So, the first one is polar bear, second is owl, third is donkey, next fourth is bee, fifth is scorpion, sixth is fox, seventh images of a squirrel, eighth images of a cheetah and the ninth picture is of a butterfly and the last image is of a tortoise. Yes, children, so our next exercise, exercise F, give examples for the following. Yes, first one, name two animals that eat grass. You have to name any two animals that eat grass. So, name any two animals, children, that eat grass. 
yes cow eat grass cow then you can write buffalo b u f f a l o cow and buffalo eat grass then second name two animals that eat flesh yes some animals they kill other animals and they eat the flesh of those animals especially animals lives in forest wild animals yes so you can write lion then tiger these are the animals that eat flesh of other animals then third name two animals that live in water yes any two animals you can name them that lives in water fish lives in water frog lives in water and also on land crocodile uh, tortoise turtle uh, different kinds of fish we will learn clownfish starfish yes so you can write fish f i s h fish then you can write crocodile c r o c o d i l e c r o c o d i l e crocodile fourth one name two animals that have wings the animals that can fly that have feathers or wings yes sparrow parrot dove crow yes so any two birds you can write parrot p a r r o t parrot then you can write crow c r o w crow next last one name two animals that can hop yes jumping on one leg hop yes you learned about animal that lives on land as well as uh, in water they have special back legs which helps them to swim in water the same time on land they can hop that is frog one is frog f r o g frog then another animal you know kangaroo is an animal that can hop k a n g a r o o kangaroo is an animal that can hop yes so name two animals that eat grass which are those animals cow comma buffalo second name two animals that eat flesh lion comma tiger third name two animals that live in water fish comma crocodile fourth name two animals that have wings parrot crow last one name two animals that can hop frog comma kangaroo okay as children so next exercise exercise g look at the pictures given below write d for domestic animals p for pet animals and w for wild animals so here domestic animals pet pet animals wild animals pictures are given so check each picture each image and write whether it is a domestic pet or wild if it is domestic you can write d if it is a pet animal you can write p and if it is a wild animal then write w the letter w okay so come into the first image the first image what can you see here children which image which animal image is here yes it's a wild animal fox isn't it yes first you can see fox so it is a wild animal so write w in the square box okay yes now on the picture in the pictures below you can see a square box there you can write the letter now second image second image which animal you can see here yes the animal which guard our house yes a pet animal it's a dog isn't it dog you can see it's a pet animal so you can write p in the square bracket sorry square box now the third image yes which image can you see here children yes the king of the jungle who is that which animal is that lion it is a yes it is a wild animal so you can write the letter w in the square box w it's a wild animal lion now the next image yes which animal it is yes it is rhinoceros or we can say rhino it is a wild animal so you can write w in the square box w is again a wild animal 
Now the next image. Yes. Which animal it is? It's a horse. Isn't it? Yes. Horse. Yes. It comes under which category or which group? Is it a pet animal? Is it a domestic animal or a wild animal? Yes. We keep them in the farm. Isn't it? It's a useful animal. So it's a domestic animal. So you can write D in the square box. D. Okay. Now the next image. Yes. Next image is of a biggest land animal. Which is that animal? Yes. It's a it's an elephant yes elephant so it's a wild animal so you can write w in the square box yes now the next image yes a cute animal which animal it is yes it's a pet animal it's rabbit yes it's rabbit Yes, a pet animal. So, for pet animal, you have to write P in the square box. Now, the next image. Yes, it's a flesh-eating animal. It kills other animal and eat. It's a tiger. Yes, tiger. So, it's a wild animal. So, you can write W in the square box. Now, what about the last image? Yes, a very useful animal which gives us milk. Yes, it's cow. So, it's a domestic animal. So, you can write D in the square box. The letter D. Yes. So, children, the first image is of a fox. It's a wild animal. So, write W in the square box. Second image is of a dog, a pet animal. So, write the letter P. Next is lion, a wild animal. So, letter W you have to write in the square box. Next is rhinoceros, rhino. It's a wild animal. So, W. Then horse, it's a domestic animal. So, write D. Elephant, again wild animal. So, write W. Next images of a rabbit, a pet animal. So, write P. Then tiger, again a wild animal. So, write W in the square box. Last image is of a cow, a useful animal. It's a domestic animal. So, write D in the square box. Okay. Next is time to do. It's project work. So, let us see what is there in, for your project. First one, make list of domestic animals and wild animals. Just make a list of uh, domestic animals and wild animals. What all, which all domestic animals, the names that you know, just make a list of domestic animals first. Then make a list of wild animals also. Then just write the names. Huh? Then um, second is take a chart paper and draw any two types of pet animals of your choice. You have to take a chart paper. Then your pet, uh, your favorite pet animal. If it is a dog, you can write dog and you have to draw also. Huh? Write the name and draw the picture if you like rabbit or if you like the bird parrot or if you want a fish to make as your pet, it's your favorite, then you draw a fish on a chart paper. You have to draw your favorite pet animal's pictures on a chart paper. Okay. Yes, children, next life skills. Animals are God's most magnificent creatures. Yes, means they are so extremely good creatures of God. Yes, so animals are they are God's most magnificent creatures, means beautiful creatures we can say. Dogs tend to be more loyal than humans. Yes, dogs they are so faithful animal. We keep dog as our pets, they guard our house. If any stranger comes to our house, they bark at them, they actually protect us. They are so faithful. Uh, we are feeding them, taking care of them. At the same time, they take care of us. They protect us from our enemies. Hmm? Yes, they are so loyal, so faithful. They also help the blind. Have you seen blind people walking on the road with the support of a dog? Yes, they help the blind people also. Hmm? Then, it is proved that people who have pets are supposed to live longer than those who don't. Yes. The people, those who are 
those who love pets or those who have pets at home they live longer days it seems they live longer than the other people we must also remember that they too have equal rights to live along with us yes animals also have the rights to live along with us we should not uh, throw stones at them hmm? uh, we, sh we should never what we say some children you know they will take stones and they throw at them uh, they won't care these animals so but we should not do that we should because they have the right to live here hmm? yes so that you should remember always then people who love animals are usually better people than those who don't there are many people they love animals like anything okay so those people they are so better people it seems than other people the people those who love animals they are very better they have real souls and compassion means they are so loyal they are so faithful uh, they are good friends and even compassion means they have that feeling of concern of to others uh, they are good people it seems they are so better hmm? they they are so compassionate so kind so generous it seems the people who loves animals who have pets at home they live longer and they are so loyal they are so faithful and compassionate means they are so kind it seems yes so animals are good creatures impressive or beautiful creatures of god they have also the right to live along with us here on the earth hmm? so it's our duty to protect them instead of harming them we should not harm the animals hmm? animals are our friends we should not harm them and people who love pets they live longer at the same time they are also so compassionate and so kind people yes so if you, you do you have a pet at home and or do you like to keep a pet at home yes if you have a pet at home you are so good people it seems you are so better hmm? you should take care of them isn't it yes so we completed the exercise children now after reading the lesson go through the exercise well learn all the exercise fill in the blanks as or no questions answer the following questions give examples all these exercises learn thoroughly so that you can prepare well for your exam so read the lesson and learn the exercise well okay